Hi everybody, we're back at it again. Uh, today I'm answering some of your questions, your most highly asked questions about estrogen. My name is Matt, I'm the CEO and founder of Biolabs Pro. We're one of the world's leading topical health product companies and we're a two-time Inc. 5000 company. Over the last six years, we've heard a ton of customer questions about topical products, health and hormones, and so we'd like to answer some of those questions and address any misconceptions that our customers or anybody watching this video may have. So before we get started today, if you like this video, like and subscribe below. We're gonna have a lot of notes and information. So let us know, give us a comment, let us know any feedback you have, and uh, please enjoy. Question number one about estrogen. Katie K asks, how do I know if I have estrogen dominance or deficiency? Please advise. So first and foremost, we are not doctors and we're not here to offer you medical advice. Uh, we can't answer your question, but we want you to know that you need to speak to a healthcare physician if you have any specific questions related to your specific needs. So estrogen dominance or deficiency. Uh, that's a pretty loaded question actually. So let me take it in two parts and then each part I'm gonna need to address for females and then for men. Estrogen dominance, uh, first and foremost. So in women, symptoms of estrogen dominance can be uh, heavy or excess periods, uh, breast tenderness, brain fog, fatigue, but specifically related to your menstrual cycle, so heavy or excess periods, um, you're gonna need to get your levels tested, talk to a doctor about that, um, related to estrogen dominance. So please do not supplement with estrogen cream, specifically if you have any of these symptoms. So you don't want to add on to something that could be a potential problem. You want to take something that's an aromatase inhibitor, something like DIM, um, or something that can block the effects of too much estrogen in that case. Uh, for men, it's a little easier to, to tell in a lot of cases. So estrogen dominance in men can show up as far as belly fat, uh, erectile dysfunction, uh, if you're no longer getting morning erections, um, if you have a lack of sex drive or fertility issues, uh, for instance, as well. So estrogen dominance in men can be, I wouldn't say a worse problem, but uh, te technically estrogen is more of a female hormone and testosterone more of a male hormone. So men certainly do not want too much female hormone in their body. It affects all of your other male reproductive functions. So that's estrogen dominance. Let's talk about deficiency. So estrogen deficiency in women uh, can show up as far as irregular periods. A lot of other menopause symptoms, such as you know hot flashes, uh, painful intercourse, flat or sagging breasts, um, other symptoms of menopause can be related to estrogen deficiency. Your estrogen levels will decline as you get older and as you go through menopause, typically it is a huge decline in estrogen that is causing those bad menopause symptoms. So get your levels tested, um, supplement with estrogen if you can to help uh, with those symptoms. For men, um, typically you want low estrogen first and foremost, but if you are on an aromatase inhibitor already, uh, like a Nasrazole or, or something else, if your estrogen gets too low, you could have joint pain and other heart risks. So if you are uh, on TRT, if you're taking a lot of testosterone, but also trying to block effects of estrogen, you're on a lot of DIM, uh, like a DIM cream, DIM supplement, something like that. Uh, if you do start having joint pain, get your levels tested, make sure your estrogen is not too low in that particular case. Thank you, Katie, that was a great question. Question number two about estrogen. Mary J asks, is it safe to use your estrogen creams? Where's your estriol? and estradiol sourced from. So our estrogen creams, we might have some here. This is estriol. We have a biest cream. So by, so this is a biest cream. So biest means two kinds of estrogens, estriol and estradiol. So we have one product that's just estriol, one that's a biest. So two estrogens together. Um, that actually uh, see a lot of great results in, in women who take this. So this the estrogen that we use, it, we call it bioidentical. So what that means is it's sourced from wild yam. So it's sourced from nature, uh, Mexican wild yam actually. So a lot of products on the market are created in a lab. They're synthetic or they come from 
uh, believe it or not, horse urine. So mare urine, pregnant mare urine, or they're just synthetic drugs made in a lab. So in this particular case, these are bioidentical Mexican wild yam derived. So in addition, the bioidentical hormone replacement therapy mimics the exact estrogen compounds produced in the ovaries. Your body doesn't know the difference. So that's why we call it bioidentical. Mary, I hope that clears things up. Thank you very much for your question. It was a great question. Question number three about estrogen. Chandler asks, is there any positive effects of estrogen to treat hair loss? I'm turning 54 soon and I already see a decline in my hair. Uh, this is very interesting. So excess shedding is potentially a symptom of low estrogen. That's excess shedding. So again, you like we just talked about, you might have symptoms of low estrogen uh, if you just have a lot of other menopause symptoms like hot flashes and so forth. But you can find um, that a topical estrogen cream or supplement just applied to the skin can enter into the bloodstream and then be transported to your uh, receptors, including hair follicles, and actually support like a lack of hair loss, or I wouldn't call it hair growth, but it could stop some of that excess shedding. So that is, that is actually something that supplementing with estrogen can do. So thank you again, Chandler. Great question. Now let's go to the next one. Last question about estrogen for today. Eric W asks, how can I tell if I have too much estrogen as a man? So we kind of just addressed this again in an earlier question. Too much estrogen for a man is not good at all, right? No bueno. So as men and women get older, men kind of become more female in their hormone levels. Estrogen, more of a female hormone. Testosterone, more of a male hormone. And the opposite is happening with women. So that's why they go through a lot of menopause symptoms because their estrogen levels are declining. As males get older, their estrogen levels are actually increasing a little bit and their testosterone is declining. So what we want to do is balance you out and give you more of a bioidentical uh, age of someone who's like in their 20s or 30s, right? Even as you get into your 40s and 50s, which we can do and you can do naturally by balancing out your hormones. So for a man, you don't want that excess estrogen, which can make you more emotional, give you more belly fat, kind of, you know, a lot of the things that are anti-testosterone related. So the aggression, the sex drive, the muscle mass, like think of the opposite of that. So you, you'd be lacking in some muscle mass, lacking in sex drive, um, those kind of things. So we don't want that for you, but as you're getting older, you may have some of those symptoms. So please get your levels tested, get your hormones in balance. You're gonna be a lot happier if you do. So in conclusion, thank you for your great questions about estrogen. Uh, we addressed estrogen from a male and a female standpoint, so that was great. Uh, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Leave us a comment, like, subscribe. Um, check out our articles on biolabspro.com. Uh, do your research, right? Get your levels tested, talk to a doctor, take your health into your own hands. So once again, if you like this video, like and subscribe below and we'll see you next time.